Hello everyone, welcome to Strap Essential Tutorial Series. In this lesson, we will learn how to define the modal cases and how to do the modal analysis in Strap. So let's get started. To define the modal cases, let's go to weights. And here, first of all, we have to define the static loads. So click on static loads. And you know that the IS as per IS 1893 2016, it is said that to define the seismic mass, we need to take 100% of dead load and 25% or 50% of live load. As our live load is less than 3 kN per meter square, so we will consider the 25%. So let me take the dead load as 100% and live load as 0.25 which is 25% and replace nodal weights by static loads. The direction will be X3 and it should be in all modal nodes. So click on OK. Now click on mode shapes. You can define the number of mode shapes here. Let me define it as 15. You can check this one. Calculate soft storage and shear center. The height direction is x3 and we want the weight to be acted in all three directions. Click on OK. Now click on Solve. Solve according to the following list and solve. The software will solve the modal case. You can see here this is our first mode. You can change the direction from here. It is our second mode. Third mode. Fifth. like that you can see the modal shapes if you want to know the modal results click on display table and display modal results click on ok here you can see here we have mass participation of 94 percent and here we have the base here now this is not our concern because we have not defined the static or dynamic earthquake load here so the thing we will be checking here is only the modal mass participation if the mass participation is less than 90 percent the software will tell you that you have to increase the number of modes this is how we can perform modal analysis in strap software in our next lesson we will learn how to define the seismic loads in strap software thank you